Welcome into Rowan Athletics. I'm Jeff Block alongside me, Tom Hill, for some third round action of the NJAC playoffs. The Rowan Profs are in Glassboro, but they're going to be the visiting team in this contest against the Kane Cougars. Kane, the three seed, against the number one Profs team. Looks up into the glove of Riggs. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. Gets out of the inning. The three two pitch. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout of the day for Lutz and a big out number one. For Kane, 0 1. Upstairs, runner going to second. The tag is out. What a throw from Caitlin Riggs. Scored one run in their game yesterday against TCNJ. And starting it off is Liz McCaffrey with the base knock. Lesnia looks in. 1 1. Offering is just off the glove over at second. Gets into right field. McCaffrey rounding third. She's coming home. The throw off line. And the throw down to second is also not in time. So an RBI double. From Peyton McNair, Liz McCaffrey scores. The Profs lead 1 0. 1 0 pitch. Chop. Shorts upside. Stenner will bobble it, not make the play. So Zara McNair will reach first base for the first time today. The 1 1 pitch. Hit into right. It is over the glove of Julian Wright. Zara McNair around second, going third. She's rounding third, coming on home. Thomas staying at second. The throw won't even be made from shallow right field. So Zara McNair comes all the way around from first on the base knock from Cat Thomas. Last time she did not go the full seven or more, which against Stockton on April 23rd. One two offering is into left field for a base knock. Caitlin Riggs will get aboard to start on this top half of the sixth. Looks to get on base, she'll grab it right back to Lesney. And a throw and a wild one, it gets into center field. Riggs will round second, going to third. The throw just behind, and she's over safe. So runners on the corners, nobody out. 2-2, two -two. shop over his short. Stenner flips a second for one. The transfer, not in time, a little bit of a bobble over to first. The run will come to score. Kaylin Riggs with her run of this game. So a fielder's choice gives the profs one out and a three-year lead. One down in the frame, and she swings first pitch out into right center. A diving attempt from Shuey is not made. Pulaski going from second to third. The throw to second, not in time. She did see Drapodi sliding right behind her. A big hit from Drapodi on the first pitch she sees, and there's two in scoring position. After Drapodi had that double into right center, as this ball is into the short corner into center field. The throw coming from center to third is offline. Drapodi is going to come to the plate. So it's going to be two runs coming to score on the ball that dropped in center field off the bat of Kate Evick. It's now 5-0. And Zarvik there at first at her walk. The 1-1 pitch is drilled up the middle for a base hit. Mackenzie Belvin rounding third. The throw from Cases to the plate is not in time. They throw to third. That one is also not in time. Zara McNair slides in safely around Messina's glove. So another RBI from Cat Thomas makes this a six-run contest. Runner only 60 feet away from making this a seven-run game. The 2-2, two -two. chop into left field for a base knock. Another RBI, Cat Towns will stop at second. Ms. Arminier will easily come in to score, so a seven-run game, it's 7-0. Seven Once looks in, sets, delivers the 3-2, swung on and missed! Raymond swings right through it, high cheddar, Riley Lutz gets a complete game shutout 